Hello and welcome to ArchiTizzy. Today I'm going to show you how you can model a ceiling with a free form shape in Revit, something which looks similar to this example with the real wooden planks as its surface. So it will be a model, not a texture, and let's have a look how I'm going to model it. Okay, in Revit I'm just going to create a room. Let's make it 12 by 12 meters. And I will take a reference plane. We'll create it in the middle of the space and we'll name it as 01. And then let's just make a section. And let's just put all our walls to go up to the second level. And I will just increase this to be 6 meter height. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to create is going to be the shape of this wall. So I will simply go here and we'll take a wall. I will now edit profile of this wall and we'll use spline so we'll make some kind of the free form shape on this side. It's not possible to trim ordinary lines and splines so I'm going to delete those three lines and then I'm going to create two new lines here from end point to end point. And we got some kind of the free form, I mean just make the form you like to have. And now I'm going to the component model in place and I'm going to pick ceiling, we'll take extrusion and we'll start from the reference plane 01, so I will just pick this, again this is not possible to trim, so okay let's just extend it up to this part and I'm done. I just click fine, I will just select this one and we'll go here and we'll isolate element. So what I'm going to do, I will try to create the curtain system, but you will see the problem right now. We have no possibility to create a curtain system, even we made this as a model in place. The reason why we cannot do this is because we made this as a ceiling, so I'm just going to change the category and we'll make this as a generic model. And now if I go to create a system, you see that I will be able to make a curtain system here. And let's just make a new type. So I need nothing for the second grid and then for the first grid, let's say I will make it as 300. And we'll take this 30 millimeter square. And just click here, create system and you're done. What is not good is not dense enough and it also sticks in, so I will just unpin this one and we'll just make the offset of 15 we'll pin it back then we'll select our curtain system and for the curtain panel I will put empty one this seems fine, but what's not good is our spacing so let's fix it and let's make this one as, uh, as 90 and as you could see this looks way way better if we would like to give material to this one, we need to select one of the mullions and then let's say instead of aluminum, give some wood. So if I go to realistic, yeah, this is this looks really well. So this was the first method and here I made a generic model, then I applied the curtain system on it and it works well. I'm now going to show you the second one and I think that that one is even simpler than this one. So I'm just going simply to delete all the things I created. And again I will go to the section. So instead of making model in place, I'm now going to the roof and I will create a roof extrusion. And I will simply just pick this line and we'll click fine. So we got this and this is not something we would like to have so let's just go here and then slow glazing and duplicate this one. So we are creating the same thing as we did previously and I will just make the first grid to be fixed distance 90 and then have this 30 millimeter square and here it comes. This is even simpler method. So we made the roof and I mean if you don't like where it is you can anytime go here to edit profile and for example you can make the offset of 200 
I will then delete this one and I can just extend this to here and to here and in 3D you see it's a bit inside a wall like it's on our example and that was it for this tutorial thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to our channel